Former basketball player Christopher Obeski, also known as Christopher London or LSK, is a huge YouTuber with well over 1 million subscribers. Christopher stands at a staggering 6 feet 10 inches and basketball used to be his life with the main objective to make it to the NBA. But as he grew up, things started to change. Chris started to get injured over and over again while getting many concussions. He was no longer as motivated to play basketball, but he kept pushing forward and playing. Chris's outlet while playing basketball was making videos for fun to get other people to laugh and smile. And over the years, it turned out well for him. But the road to 1 million subscribers subscribers was not as easy as you may think. Chris was born April 3rd, 1993 in London, England. He started playing basketball at the age of three with his dad who played basketball in Europe. Over the years, Chris continued playing basketball, getting better and better, trying to go pro. In 2008, Chris would finally make his high school varsity appearance as a sophomore. He only averaged five points and two rebounds per game, but the following season during Chris's junior year, he had gotten even better, averaging 9.8 points, 7.6 rebounds, one assist, and two blocks per game. Of course, with time you get better and become more experienced, and with that, London had gotten even better because in his senior year, Chris had averaged 10.8 points, 6.1 rebounds, 2 assists, 1.6 steals, and 2 blocks per game. And with his great performance, Chris had gotten many scholarship offers from schools to play college basketball. So on May 11, 2011, Chris had made his decision to play D1 basketball with Oral Roberts Golden Eagles, but because of a heart condition, had redshirted and was not cleared to play. According to Chris, they couldn't find anything wrong, but they couldn't find anything right. He was basically a lab rat. So he decided to leave Oral Roberts on a full release, move back to London where he saw doctors and was clear to play after two weeks. So he decided to go pro overseas, but things did not pan out as injuries kept reoccurring and Chris was never able to regain his strength or find his love for basketball again. While playing basketball, Chris started making videos for fun and posting them on YouTube. His first video posted was called Band iPhone 5S Promo, posted on September 18th of 2012. The thing about your iPhone, it's probably the object you use the most in your life. It's the product you have with you all the time. With this unique relationship people have with their iPhone, we take changing it very seriously. He continued posting on YouTube and getting more and more followers and views. On April 13, 2013, Chris had gotten his first video over 1 million views. And the title was Kanye West's response to Ray J's I Hit It First single. Couple of bars and a sick beat. Let me diss him with his own track. Ray J, let's have a race. Let's see who can have a hundred million video views first. And two and a half weeks later, Chris introduced his hilarious Haters of the Week series, where he parodies well-known songs of all of his haters and non-believers' comments. This really sucks. Please kill yourself. Waste of time, you will poo but oh, 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 oh. Man, these comments are so funny. Haters of the week. Yeah. A few months went by with a few videos coming out here and there, and on July 24th of 2013, Chris had shared what it is like for him being tall and his everyday struggles that people quite don't understand. Now I'm tall, but I'm not deaf. People think that I'm deaf. You know, the weather may be a little different up here, but I can still hear you down there, all right? You know, I hear shit like this on daily. When people are walking by me, obviously. God damn, that nigga tall as shit. And exactly one day after that video, Chris had started another series, and that was his infamous Things I Hate series, in which, yes, you guessed it, he talks and rants about certain things he hates. <laughs> Kiss me. Now, I would have titled this Things I Hate, but hate is such a strong negative word. And since I'm going to be pretty negative this video, I'm going to make it a little more positive by just calling it Things That Annoy Me. At this time, LSK had uploaded many videos, averaging a decent amount of views. Nothing too wild, but a good amount for the following he had gotten. So on August 16th, 2013, Chris had uploaded a 13-minute sibling test with his sister Olivia. This video did very well at the time of the upload, accumulating well over 250,000 views. What's up? Um, no. Mushy mushy peeps, I'm Christopher London, and today I'm going to call it the sibling test with my sister, Olivia. Two months of consistent uploads and average video views, Chris had finally created another banger video, this time surpassing the sibling test in views and accumulating over 500,000 views. And that video was a hilarious, shit really tall guy say. This video is full of hilarious lines and constantly mentioning the fact that he's 6'10". Yeah, they didn't have my size, bro. Let's, let's go. Oh, I'm 6'10". Yeah, I'm 6'10". Yeah, I'm 6'10". 
Running into 2014, on May 23rd, Chris uploaded his first ever vlog. The vlog was about him going back to London and it was titled Vlog 1, Peanuts Trash Can. And yes, that's a very weird title for a video. This was a little video series he made for 11 vlogs while he was traveling to London, then to LA, then back to Houston. Mushy mushy peeps, it's Chris for London. And welcome to my first official vlog. Yeah. And in between vlog 7 and 8, Chris had uploaded his first ever NBA 2K video to his channel. It was an NBA 2K challenge video that had featured fellow YouTuber Joe Weller. It was a 1v1 in which the loser of the video had to get egged by the winner. Do it on, on it, on it, on the clean gates. <laughs> <laughs> that video may have sparked something in Chris, as a few months later, on September 22nd, the LSK channel had been born, and one day later, its first video was published. NBA 2K14 Next Gen, Dwight Howard is a pussy. Look at Jeremy Lin for the tray. Shit, I hate his release. Over the next few months on the LSK channel, Chris would upload 2K, FIFA, GTA, and really whatever he wanted to upload that was gaming related. As he was growing the second channel, he was also still growing the main channel. He uploaded a video on October 29, 2014, talking about his YouTube story. It was a relatively emotional video with some insight of Christopher London's life. The video had blown up and accumulated well over 1.2 million views. It was an 18 long minute video and gotten some great ratings from his fans and other people that watched the video. Timothy Delegato. I've been watching him from the start. He was really the only YouTuber I ever watched for a while. He doesn't know this, but that guy really changed my life. He really did, and I, and I can't thank him enough. He doesn't, if it wasn't for him, I don't know what I'd be doing. And he inspired me to make YouTube videos. Over the next five months, Chris would continue uploading parodies, skits, reactions, vlogs, and many other videos to his main channel and making gaming content on his second to grow his brand. On March 23rd, 2015, Chris uploaded a motivational video named Never Satisfied. This also got great feedback and received over 400,000 views. You have a choice. Everyone can be great. Everyone. Anyone. But you have a choice to be great. It's your choice. That's it. After the release of that video, Chris had passed the 140,000 subscriber mark. Chris kept making videos, even making more story time videos that people seemed to enjoy and love. This looks like a, a scene from a movie where you're gonna pull some shit and we're gonna die. Like, I said, yo, to be honest, I'm a feeling a little bit uncomfortable right now. So if you could just, I don't know, back the fuck up and get out of here and get to the front of the hotel, that would be great. Skip to June 18th, 2016, Chris, Jesser, and Cash went to the NBA Finals Game 6 in Cleveland, where they got their seats from SeatGeek in which they had partnered together for that video. Bruh, this game was so fucking late. Guys, shout out to SeatGeek. Make sure you guys go check it out. Link in the description. Only a few months later, in early September, a week or two after hitting 500,000 subscribers, Chris would move into a YouTube house with Jester the Laser and Zach, also known as TDG. Over the next few months, Chris would be making real-life basketball videos and meeting many top-ranked athletes and sometimes playing against them in a shooting competition or 1v1. Chris would upload a ton of vlogs and other videos with the guys, showing them moving in, going out to eat, buying things, or even installing a bidet into all of their bathrooms. He would also start sneaking around with some mystery girl for a while, but would later reveal her face on February 11th of 2017. Get out of my Caucasian viewfinder. <laughs> And on March 18th, Chris and Bree had made a story time video together explaining how they met. Shockingly, they met on Twitter. And they'll explain it all in the video called Hashtag We Met on Twitter. So tall girl Twitter was going around and I decided, you know, I would just lob a couple of my tall girl pictures to the timeline. One time for Less the one than time. Less timeline, it's okay. And I think it had like... Quite a few, like 3,000. 4,000 something yeah. favorites. Yeah. I don't know. It was up there. It was up there. It got to the point where it was on my timeline. Chris continued to grind, even playing basketball with Lamelo Ball making challenge videos, and creating even more hilarious videos with he and his roommates. Finally, on March 27th, Chris had made a 800 subscriber room tour showing off how Hollywood he is. And today I have a special video for you guys. I have my first official room tour. Yes, this is the VIP lounge. A month after, on April 16th, 2017, Chris created a video titled, What Does Christopher London Say in His Intro? This was a much requested video by many of his fans, and the question was finally answered in this video. 
I got it from the Japanese language, moshi moshi. Instead of moshi moshi, I say muji muji. That's it. That's that's really it. Did I make up my own language? Probably. And after the question was answered, Chris had hit 900,000 subscribers and celebrated by doing a giveaway on April 22nd. We hit 900k, guys. Yes. I told you guys tonight, let's do it. And we did it. Finally, after years of hard work, on May 29th, 2017, Chris had finally hit the mark he had been working for. 1 million subscribers. He had live streamed the whole thing leading up to the number and he could not have been more happy for the moment. So the day after, on the 30th, Chris uploaded a video titled 1 million subscribers, my YouTube success story. Oh my God, stop playing with my mode. Oh my God. Yo. Oh shit. Oh my God, dude. One fucking mil. Oh shit. Oh no. It's fucking late! After the monumental moment, Chris had moved out of the current house and into a new, getting more roommates and even playing 1v1 against James Harden. He would keep grinding on his main and second channel, growing even bigger than he had imagined. Chris is one of the few that have turned a negative situation of getting hurt over and over again and having his dreams ruined into a good thing. I'm sure if you ask Chris, he loves his current job, which is to entertain and put a smile on someone's face each and every day. Mushy Mushy Peeps, I'm Christopher London. Mushy Mushy Peeps. 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 Anything's possible. Anything's possible!